Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Um, hope y'all doing well, hope y'all doing good. Yeah, change the scenery today. Um, I just wanna make this quick video here, um, kinda to talk about what God kinda dropped in my spirit um, two days ago um, on my heart as I was, as I was doing devotions. Um, I think this is a word for our generation, uh, for many people. Um, and, and it has to do with relationships um, and marriage. Um, everyone on earth is seeking some sort of relationship, whether that be friend, uh, friend type relationships, uh, romantic relationships. We're all looking for some type of connection with other people. Um, so I just want to share kind of what the Holy Spirit dropped on my heart and then kind of dive into uh, the word and kind of see how we could apply it. Um, to our life. Um, so two days ago, I was just doing devotions. I was studying in John. Um, wasn't really studying anything about marriage or relationships or anything like that. Um, but as I was studying, the Holy Spirit just dropped in my heart this phrase. And he said, you're worried more about your bride than becoming my bride. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. Um, because I'm kind of in a season where I am kind of looking around at, you know, friends from college, um, just different people uh, in my life who are in relationships, uh, on the road to getting married, um, engaged, married. And it's like, ah, you know, I want to be a part of that. Um, and sometimes I, I focus on that, emphasize that more than my relationship with Christ. Um, so when he said that, uh, I just kind of wanted to sit and kind of marinate on that and think of what that really means. Um, you're worried more about your bride than becoming my bride. Um, so I went to Ephesians 5. That's where we're going to be at today. We're going to start at verse 22 and go to verse 28. So it says, wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body and is himself its savior now as the church submits to christ so also wives should submit and everything to their husbands um so we're going to stop here verse 22 to 24 kind of talks about the wife and as you're thinking about this as i'm going through this think about the wife um as being the church we are the bride of christ um and women think about yourself in this uh way in terms of you know a future spouse or your you know a current spouse it says wives submit to your own husbands as to the lord for the husband is the head of the wife even as christ is the head of the church and uh, his body and is himself its savior so basically right there it says christ is the head of the church so christ is our husband right and if we are the wife, if we are the bride of Christ, we need to submit to our husband, which is Christ, right? And so I just had to kind of examine myself and think, am I really submitting to Christ? Um, am I really doing everything in my power to be more like Christ? And really submitting to Christ is becoming more like him, um, desiring to do his will over your own will and uh, just to grow closer to him. And so I had to examine myself. And I feel like, you know, everyone has a has a different type of journey, different ty type of process. But I do believe I am on that journey. I do believe I am doing that. Um, but sometimes the focus isn't on him as much as it should be. Sometimes I can find myself maybe seeking God for things he can provide. Um which is not right. It's not the right heart posture. Um, but you have to check yourself. You have to be aware of kind of where you're at. So I'm aware of that. And so when he laid that word on my heart, it made me really think, okay, let me really um, focus on Christ and see where that takes me, see where that leads me, you know? I said, now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should, should submit in everything to their husbands. So then wives come into a, a, the natural sense 
if you're looking, if you, you know, women, if you look at yourself and you are desiring a husband, um, what type of men are you letting into your life for a romantic relationship? Is he someone like Christ? Is he someone, you know, off the street that doesn't know Christ? Is he someone from your job? Is he someone, you know, that you met at the store? Or is it somebody, and you, you may meet your husband, a godly man in any of those places, but is he from God? And you'll know, right? And so then with that, are you finding yourself in a place where you can submit to him? Because if he's a godly man and he's following Christ, what you would have to submit to would be his would be Christ's will if the man is doing what he's supposed to do. And we'll touch on the men kind of as we go along. But just think about that, women. Like, you know, you think of, you know, fairy tale, kind of the Disney kind of, you know, way of relationships. That's kind of how we've been indoctrinated in society. Um, but are we really doing it the right way? So that's just a, a challenge that I have to all the women who may watch this video and may see this video. Are you in a place where you're with one, a godly man? If not, check that, get that in order. And two, if you are with a godly man, are you submitting to him as he's submitting to Christ? Um, as we go into verse 25, it says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He loves his wife. He who loves his wife loves himself. So I want to touch quickly here on verse 27. So that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, right? So as the church, we are the church, right? We are the bride of Christ. Are you without spot? Are you without wrinkle? Are you without any such blemish? Now, of course, we're going to, we're not perfect. We're not um, going to be without fault. We are not going to be without sin. But it's the um, the heart behind it. It's the heart behind the sin. Like in my previous video or one of my previous videos about, you know, grace and not willfully sinning due to the fact that we have the grace of God. Like, are you actively seeking God for deliverance of different areas in your life where you may be in bondage are you actively seeking god to help you remove certain sins that you struggle with are you actively seeking god to give you the boldness to share the gospel like are you becoming more like christ to become more like christ is to be without spot wrinkle and without any such blemish right and so as i touched on the women previously in verse 22 to 24 gotta touch on the men right husbands love your wives as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her <laughs> that's crazy right the women have to submit to the husband right or be willing to submit to their husband the men need to be willing to die for their wife <laughs> and in extension their their children like, are you willing to do that? You want a wife, you know, you want to be able to pop out, uh, you know, have have a beautiful woman on your arm, this and that. For one, is she a woman of God? <laughs> is she a woman that will uh, be that help me, be that um, submissive woman, um, be somebody who you can see raising your children be somebody that you can bring home to your family. So for one, let, let's check that. Is she is she that or is she just the finest joint you could find and you're 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 lit. You're living, you're walking in your flesh, you're walking in lust. You got to check that. Two, if you do have that woman, your duty 
is to, if it comes down to it, give yourself up for her. In everything, not even just in death, but just in different aspects of life. You know, I, I believe the men, men oftentimes have a lot to deal with and 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 um, go through in terms of relationships and, and running a household and being that priest, provider, protector. It's not an easy job, and you're praying, 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 God. Send me my wife. Send me my my woman of God. But are you ready for all the responsibilities that that entails? You got to check yourself, right? Um, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. Now, I believe <laughs> that the men that men can do that in their relationships with women. Um, sometimes. You may have a woman who is not fully there yet, maybe in the faith. Uh, maybe you got married uh, before you were saved. And now say you're the husband, and you got saved. You have the responsibility to be the priest of the household, regardless of if your wife uh, is not uh, really feeling Christianity or, or becoming more like Christ. It's your responsibility to sanctify her having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. So the more you're living like Christ as a man, the more you're following God's will, the more you're uh, becoming closer to Christ, that in turn will then sanctify your wife, cleansing her by the washing of water with the word. And we know um, that the word is Christ, you know, um, so I just kind of wanted to come on here and just kind of share that word with you. If you're somebody, if you're a young person who is in the faith, if you're an older person who's in the faith um, and have been waiting years for a husband or a wife, are you focused more on your bride than becoming uh, the bride of Christ? Um, and I encourage you to think about that, right? And if you're single, um, if you're um, in... A relationship and you're thinking about marriage i encourage you to watch this uh four-part sermon series from a, a pastor i enjoy watching um his name is Vodi bakum uh, v-o-d-d-i-e-b-a-u-c-h-a-m um he's super sound super biblical um he has a four-part series on marriage um if you just i guess type his name in youtube and uh, search i believe it's called love and marriage or just put in marriage you should be able to find it. Um, he kind of dives a lot deeper into Ephesians 5 uh, than I did here. Um, but I just encourage uh, anyone who sees this video to watch that. And, you know, keep God first. And just, uh, you know, focus on becoming more like him. Becoming more like Christ. Becoming his bride. Um, and that's kind of what I want to leave you with today. Um, if this video encouraged you, again, please like, comment, share. Subscribe, trying to grow the channel. Um, I guess leave in the comments uh, what you think about the video, uh, what you think about uh, where you may be at in your situation um, in terms of a relationship. Um, and, and I just pray that this video blessed you. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one.